boys and girls, my name is Holly Jones. I have a kindergartner in Miss Erin Burke's class named Olivia, and I'm gonna be your community reader today. We're gonna to be reading a book called Katie Loves the Kittens. This book has one person who's both the illustrator, so he drew the pictures, and the author, so he wrote all the words too. And his name is John Himmelman. All right, so Katie Loves the Kittens. Today was the most exciting day in Katie's whole life. Sarah Ann had brought home three little kittens. Katie loved those kittens so much. As soon as she saw them, she howled, Aroo! Aroo! She always howled like that when she was very happy. But Katie's howling frightened the kittens. They ran in all directions. Katie chased them around the house. Aroo, aroo, she howled. Uh-oh. No, 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 Katie, said Sarah Ann. You are scaring the kittens. You stay away from them until they get used to you. Katie felt sad. She did not want to scare the kittens. Later that day, Sarah Ann was playing with her new pets. She watched from around a corner. She wanted to play with the kittens too. She just loved them so much. She tried to control herself. She tried and tried and tried, but Katie couldn't stop herself any longer. Uh-oh, think in your head, make a prediction. What's gonna happen? She burst into the room. The kitten scattered. She howled as she chased them around the room. No, Katie, no, said Sarah Ann. You scared them again. Katie felt even sadder than before. Poor little kitten, she thought. Oh, she's so sad. That night, the kitten slept with Sarah Ann in her bed. Katie missed them already. She's waiting outside the door. Katie went out the kitchen door. She looked up at Sarah's, Sarah Ann's window. That's where the kittens are, she thought. Uh-oh, look at that window. Hmm, what will she do? She climbed up the bushes and looked in the window. The kittens were fast asleep. Oh, what sweet little kitten, she thought. I would love to smell them. She sniffed so hard, or she sniffed as hard as she could, but they were too far away. She climbed onto the windowsill. She quietly slid under the window and leapt onto the bed. The kittens went flying into the air. Katie was so excited. Aroo, aroo. She howled. Uh-oh, look at her face there. Sarah Ann picked up the dog. Katie, what am I gonna do with you? Don't you like these kittens? Katie felt very, very sad. In the morning, Katie walked into the kitchen. Three bowls of foods waited for her. She ate the first bowl. Mmm, this is good, she thought. She ate the second bowl. Yummy, 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 yum, she thought. Look at her, she looks hungry. When she was halfway through the last bowl, Sarah Ann walked in. Oh, Katie, you ate the kitten's food, she said. Uh-oh, look at her face there. Oh no, thought Katie. Now she felt sadder than ever. She went to her bed and laid down. I love those little kittens so much, she thought, and all I do is scare them and eat their food. Katie stayed in her bed all day. After a while, she fell asleep. When she woke up, she was not alone. The kittens had fallen asleep on top of her. Katie was so happy that she wanted to howl. She wanted to jump. She wanted to chase them all over the room and run around in circles and play with them. There she is, she looks happy. She's got a smile on her face, but she didn't. That's my good little Katie, said Sarah Ann. Look at them all having such a great time together. Well, thanks so much, boys and girls, for letting me read you that book. I hope you have a great day.